Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to build something like this, which is basically just an outro card or an end plate for your YouTube videos. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on new project here. Going to launch a new movie. We're going to import some media. I'll just grab whatever clip here and import selected. Okay, what I'm going to do is I just need a piece of media. So I'm going to drag it down here and I'll turn down the audio this way. And now I'm going to build the actual end plate or the outro. So what I'm going to do is go to the backgrounds here. I'm going to grab the stars and drag that down here. It's going to default to four seconds. So let's stretch that out to like 15 or so. Give or take. Yeah, good enough. And what I want to do is I want to make it kind of moving a little bit. I'll go to the cropping tool here. And we're going to do a little bit of Ken Burns. So what Ken Burns does is it allows you to move the clip from one point to another. So what we'll do is we'll kind of minimize the start here and then we'll move the end. So what it's going to do is slowly move that clip, the duration of the video clip here. Once you have it set to where you want it, it really doesn't matter because it's going to be moving nice and slowly. I'm going to go ahead and click on that checkbox here. Okay. So now if we play it, it's slowly moving in the background. So that's the first thing we need to do. We have that. Now we need some font or some titles, I should say. So let's go ahead and go to the titles. The problem with iMovie is you cannot stack titles. So what we need to do is put like a subscribe and we need something else on the other side. So what we're going to do is look for the upper or lower, depending on where you want to do it. But I like the upper. So we'll grab that, we'll drag it and we're going to make it the Duration of the clip itself. Okay, so just stretch it out until it's at the end. All right, we'll double click on it. And now we can kind of customize. First thing I want to do is I don't like the, the black border, so I'm going to take that out. And I don't really like this font so much. So, what I usually use is this one here, Avenir Next Heavy. It's kind of the one I like. And what I'll do is I'll do uh, subscribe. And what you have to do here is actually use your space bar and move your cursor to the next point where you want to type, depending on how long the word is. And you got to be careful that it doesn't wrap the text. Okay. So I'm going to type, let's do like more vids, more vids, explanation points. Okay. So you notice it, it actually wrapped the text. So what I want to do is just put my cursor here and hit the backspace until both are showing. There we go. So unfortunately, now let's fix that real quick. We're going to test it out here. So double click and I move it back just a little bit farther. And that looks like pretty much as far as we're going to be able to go. You can reduce the size of the text here. So maybe we'll do that. We'll go down to there. That way it gives us more room to kind of move it over. But you always have to kind of click somewhere else and apply it to make sure that you're not running out of room and it's not wrapping the text. Okay. So, and there's one last thing I want to do is I want to actually add some music. So I'm gonna go ahead and import a music track and let's go ahead into the folder where I downloaded my music clips from the YouTube audio repository or library, whatever you want to call it. Whoa, that's loud. So we're going to grab the clip. We're going to drag it down here. I'm going to start it a little bit toward the end of the video and have it overlap into the end card or the outro. I'm going to go ahead and split the clip and delete the leftovers. Definitely going to lower the volume. You can see how high it is to a more manageable level. And now let's beef up the size here so you can actually see what I'm doing. All right, that's probably good enough. And then I'll shrink this window here so we can kind of see what's going on. So what I want to do is I want to kind of have it fade in from the end of the video and then kind of fade out. So you'll use these little uh, handles here and just kind of fade it in. Again, you can adjust the volume to whatever you need it to be. And then on the way out, we'll fade it on the way out as well using the same handles. And from here, let me go ahead and play it and you can have a look to see what it looks like. Okay. Let's make this a little bigger and I'll turn up the music just a little bit. So you'll notice that the stars are kind of moving. So I kind of like, I had it stagnant before, but I kind of like 
Just a little bit of movement with that Ken Burns effect. And that's pretty much it. From here, you're gonna have to do all the adding of the subscriber icon and the videos in your YouTube uh, control panel, okay? If you need help on that one, I'll put a link in this at the end of this video as well as in the description box and you can kind of uh, watch that one and add the videos that you'd like, okay? All right, I think that's it for today's video. I'd like to thank everybody for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. As usual, peace and aloha.